wonderful people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for your subscription thank you for your likes and comments please if you are new to this channel and you're here to subscribe kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to enable you get a notification once i upload new video in today's tutorial we are going to be making a fitted gown with this ankara fabric it will be a combination of this ankara and this lace first i will cut the gown part first using my ankara fabric the normal way i will fold into two first and still fold again making it into four and also include zip allowance so as you can see the fabric is folded into four now i've also marked out zip allowance i'm using one and a half inches for zip allowance so now we'll take the gown length it will be a short gown the gown length is the gown length is 42 inches So I will make use of this Ankara length. This is 45 inches. I will use what is remaining as folding allowance. So starting my measurement from here. So this is where I will start my measurement. So from here, I will measure out down length 42 inches. Mark it out. So having marked out shoulder to gown length measurement i've marked out shoulder to half length measurements this is shoulder to half length measurement 16 inches from half length to hip length measurement 9 inches i'll take shoulder measurement divided by 2 16 inches divided by 2 will give us 8 inches Here I will measure out one inch. This is where I mark shoulder measurement, connect it to this three inches. So I will slant this to this three inches. Now from this one inch, I will take ample measurement divided by two, which is eighteen inches divided by two will give us nine inches. I mark a straight line from shoulder to where yeah, I mark and full measurement. Still mark it down this way. So I'll cover up and pull curve. So after that, I will take bust measurement divide by four. And bust measurement is 44 inches divided by four will give us 11 inches. Yeah, it's 11 inches. Remember that I said earlier that I'm adding one inch to the measurement. So I'll add one inch and two inches for seam allowance, making it three inches. Waist measurement divided by four will give us 9.75. Yeah, it's 9.75. I'll add ease and seam allowance. If measurement divided by 4 will give us 12.2. So 
So here is 12.2. I also, I will also add one inch for ease and two inches for seam allowance. So I will connect from bus to waist measurement down to hip measurement. So from this hip line measurement, I will mark it straight. I will mark it straight to hemline. So for the neckline, the width I will use four inches for the width. Neck volume for front, I will make use of five inches. For back, two inches. So I'll connect. This is for back neckline. Still connect to front neckline. So this is it. I will go ahead and cut this out. So don't forget to notch folding allowance. After cutting out the back neckline together with the front, we raise only the front up and cut out the front neckline. This is it. So after cutting out the gun, I will cut out the sleeve. So the sleeve I'm holding it to two. So I will mark our sleeve length. Sleeve length is 12 and a half inches. I will add half inch for seam allowance, making it 13 inches. Cap height is four and a half inches.
So that this cup height, I will divide. I will divide round sleeve measurement by two. And the round sleeve is 18 inches divided by two will give us nine inches. So I will add same allowance of two inches. Elbow measurement is 14 inches divided by two will give us seven. I also add same allowance. So I'm going to slide this to sleep measurement, excluding the allowance. So this I will determine the midpoint of this. This is 10 inches. The midpoint is 5 inches. So from here, you can measure half inch up here and half inch down here. So now I'll connect this. I use my ruler to mark this out to the sleeve length. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So don't forget to notch here. So I will use this now to cut out the second sleeve. I've just placed it on top of the fabric, folded it into two. And cut out the same thing. So this is for the sleeve. So for the less part, I'll fold this into two. Remember that the half line that I'm working with is, sorry, my measurement will start from here. Okay, the half length that I'm working with is 16 inches. Is 16 inches. So here is 16 inches. Add half inch for folding allowance at this hemline. So after marking out the half length, I will get the front and carapace. part, place it. Remember that this lace is folded into two and this front and carapace part is also folded into two. So I will place it on top of this lace. Make sure this back. So all I need to do is to 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's So first, before lining this fabric, I will first of all attach this lace. You can carry it. You don't put it up like this. Place the lace on top of it this way. So I'm going to stitch it around. Now at this waist side, I will fold it in, carefully fold this in like this and stitch on top. So after that, I will then turn it with lining. I will make use of this lace also. So this is 36 inches length. For the length, I will make use of 36 inches. And the width is 7 inches. I will add 2 inches for same allowance, making it 9 inches. So I will make sure it's 9 inches. Okay? this into two this is for the two slip so this is for two slip so I will go ahead and cut out the lining and line this okay this is the front part I finish lining it. So now I will close the two back sides up and also fix zip. So I will fix zip and close the remaining part up. And this is the back side. So now we'll join the two shoulders. Make sure that the right side of the Ankara fabric is facing each other. So I'll stitch this like this.
This is the lens that I cut out for this lid. Now applying it. So this is the two inches for folding allowance at the hemline. I have known it to go side. So I'll turn this to the right side. Fold this to these two inches. So the lining will be inside. So I will stitch this on top of this. I'm going to lift it a little. I'm going to fall over. So now I will take the body measurement, divide by two. So I'm dividing pulse measurement by two. And also add back one inch for ease. Take hip measurements. So connect them from box to west to the big measurement, then mark it stress to end like and so connect it. So this is it. So after closing the two sides up, I also face sleeve. This is the sleeve. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end. Please, if you're here to subscribe, just touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.